All right, as promised, here is a backyard solar panel pergola update. The whole goal is to take these 10 panels and move them over there. And we'll get over there in a second and I'll show you what's going on. I wanted to do 12 panels moving over, but it's just not going to work out. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get with the Alt E store or another vendor and I'm going to get six of the big Q cell panels and redo this whole thing. Get rid of those old Sun Power ones there and do it right with correct super strut. And it's going to look freaking beautiful when it's done. Now let's walk over here. And I'll show you what I did today. Just got done. I'm all cleaned up. Took a shower. So I got 10 pieces of Super Strut. The big, big thick stuff. And today, I got a 10 foot pole set. And I got an 8 foot pole set. So what I'll do is just extend over here. And down. And just create another railing system for 10 more panels. I can't get uh, 12. This is 12 right here. So this will be a 2,200 watt array. And if you do the math for 22 panels, if I go series, series, parallel, which is 11 panels plus 11 panels, it's going to be 230 volts. So I may have to do a Midnight Solar Classic 250 instead of I think it's a 200 down there it just won't work but the reason why I'm doing this is that this is south facing this essentially gets sun soaked all year round with very minimal shading very minimal and that's that's the main main reason and also to clean up this pergola at the same time so essentially what I'm going to do is take some of this good super strut here heavy heavy duty stuff and make a railing system on top here the q cell panels are about the same size as these guys so i'll have to figure out the um screw nut lock things for these guys to set them in there safely but it'll all be straight and, cons and consistent and supported well gonna look really nice it's gonna look really nice a little bit more sanding to do I'm supposed to get down to freezing tonight but man I tell you a lot of good work today getting these suckers put in that hole right down there gave me fits of freaking rage hard packed clay but I got 24 inches on both of these holes and got the cement quick great set up beautifully neighbor had to come over and help hold it in place but it's level 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 i did have a miss a miss adjustment right there see there but i can do some super strut trickery to make that look good see there it's gonna look good it's gonna look good i'm so glad i did this fenced was it last year last spring Two springs ago so that's all done and I got all this bush stuff cleaned out today and I got it into the trash bin because the garbage dude was running late so that really made me happy I had a big old pile of shrubbery and stuff down here not anymore all cleaned up nice it's gonna look nice there's my big 2400 water right back there which has shading issues because of the house and tree right there. This one doesn't have, won't have any shading issues. So there you have it. Hope you're doing well and hope you enjoyed this update. I won't probably be able to do much for the next couple of days. I'm going to let this stuff set up really good. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching. See you.